What is up, BC? Nolan here with a haircut, and it's about time. But I've also got another entry to the Indie Vinyl series. The letter R, before we get to the monster that are R, the S's, it's only five records. So I'm going to take my sweet time, and I'm also, I'm going to just do a little talking before we get into it. Of course, I'll mention what we're listening to. Right now is David Bowie's Low on RCA 1977. And just realized from the liner notes that this front cover is from uh, The Man Who Fell to the Earth. It's still from it. Didn't know that. Haven't seen that movie in a while. But anyway, this is, this is inspired by his latest single, which does not suck at all. Really good single and reminded me of... Reminded me of... The, the Heroes album a little bit, but I don't have the Heroes album. But this album reminds me of the Heroes album, so I got to this. I listened to side one like six times last night. Today is side two. Anyway, I hit 100 subscribers over the last couple of days. I have a contest in mind, but out of these 100 subscribers, you know, not all of them make videos. I'm not so sure all of them even watch. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on the contest. So whenever it feels right, you know, I'm not too concentrated on on the number of subscribers or how many I have. I am so grateful to meet all of these great people and that you watching my videos and you interact with me. I started doing these videos, I'm not sure why, I, I maybe felt a disconnect between, I just moved to a new city, and I just, I had, I had no one to really kind of talk about my favorite thing with, and the people that I did talk to, you know, I, I have close friends that I can talk to about it, but here is like my place to just say what, say what I want to say, and what I'm realizing is, I was lacking in confidence, and maybe vocabulary, and a slew of other things as far as talking about music goes. I had a conversation with a friend last night and he, he reassured me that I'm I have I am good at talking about music but I'm really hard on myself and I wanted to gain some confidence and have a have a bag of words and thoughts that I can pull from when I listen to music, when I discuss music, and have a leg to stand on and not just be talking out of my ass like a lot of people do when they talk about music. And, you know, I can't count how many discussions happen about music where people, I don't even know where these thoughts are coming from. They just, they're made up. They either sound good, you know, the words sound good together, or they sound smart, but they're not substantial. And so making these videos for me has been a really good learning process to talk about, to help me gain some confidence and some some knowledge when it comes to talking about music. Either by watching your videos and, and hearing, uh, you know, you guys talk about music, talking back and forth in the comments, and just for me actually doing it and filming it. So, I'm learning from this, and that is extremely important to me. Learning about new music, too, is also important. But, I just am super thankful that there's even, throughout this process, Whatever I'm doing here, there's people out here who are interacting and reaching out. I'm, the people that I look forward to their videos whenever they upload, you know, people I enjoy talking to on here, people that are just super kind. It's really awesome. So thank you. Thank you for that. And I hope, I hope to keep doing it. I really do. I have no no problems doing it. So that's a little that's a little tangent from what this video actually is. Um, I guess now I'll get started. We're doing the letter R's indie vinyl. First up this is real estate. This record is self-titled. It's on Woodsist, and this is a 2009 release, I believe. Maybe 2008. It's not listed. Members of DuckTales, Titus Andronicus, these guys used to be in a Weezer cover band, which 
which I'm down with. I used to be in a Weezer cover band, and if there's enough alcohol involved, I'm still in a Weezer cover band. So, you know, these, these dudes get together and make this very dreary, suburban, sitting on the chair by the beach music. I mean, I say suburban. There's two songs with the word suburban in the title. Suburban Dogs and Suburban Beverage. Which is a great record. Their follow-up days, I never, I never listened to. I may have listened to it once. It didn't make a huge impression on me. With a lot of these type of records, these independent records, they just get the money and they make, you know, a more expensive sounding version of their first record. And I'm, I'm all right without that, especially at the price point that they were selling it at. It's a great record, real estate. Next two records I have in my collection, I should say me and Catherine's collection, because they're Catherine's records. Just a huge fan of Rilo Kylie, more specifically Ginny Lewis. Um, you know, right now I'm spacing on the band members' names. No, nope, I don't know what it is. Uh, you know, so Riley Pally, famous for Ginny Lewis, famous for the other principal songwriter whose name is escaping me, who was on Boy Meets World. I know him from that. This is the execution of all things. This is on Saddle Creek, 2002. Excellent record, indie pop. Uh, with with you know, some some sort of country tinges, very songwriter, songwritery, that's the thing. Found a nice little Saddle Creek book in here, all over the place. Some cool liner notes, great pressing. I'm not too familiar with this record. I've listened to it. I listened to it when it was when I was in high school a couple times, uh, and when KJ has put it on, but I, I, I'm not too familiar. But it's it's a nice record. Their second, their second record. Next is their third record, more adventurous. This is 2000, 2004, Fox Oak Records. And this I'm more familiar with, uh, not particularly because of the record. Some nice photos here the band. But I'm more familiar with this because I uh, mean Catherine have covered some songs on here. This is, you know, they released one more record as Rilo Kylie after that before calling it quits and pursuing solo projects. Which there's some Ginny Lewis records I think I was just thinking Catherine might like to have. So I'm gonna start looking into that but this is a lot of fun. Next record is one of my favorites of all time. A top five record, possibly. You know, I've never sat down and made the list, but out of my collection, could be a top five. It's Rocket Ship, A Certain Smile, A Certain Sadness. This is 1996 on Slumberland Records. If you're familiar with Slumberland Records, this is very much of its time. This came out after their incredible single, Hey Hey Girl. I think that was also a Slumberland single. I've been looking for that single, but it's expensive. It's a perfect song, as far as I'm concerned. These guys, you know, mid-90s Slumberland records, fuzzy pop. If you think of bands like the Pastels, Isler Set, who I guess they came later. Um, revivalists like Paints Being Pure at Heart. Dum Dum Girls pull from a lot of this stuff, and I think the thing that I love about this record is it never, that sound never got as experimental as this record. This takes that, you know, the Farfisa organ, twee melodies, fuzzy guitar, it takes that to a, to a new level. These songs um, drone, drone on, they're, they're, they're longer songs, you know, they kind of have a quality to them that gets close to shoegaze, uh, or what's, you know, mostly normally known as shoegaze. And, if, I mean, if you need to hear kind of something that's indicative of the, the album as a whole, is I Love You Like the Way I Used to Do, which is the first track. 
just phenomenal. The way the ending of that song just drifts into a whole nother thing from where it started is fantastic. And I, I, I really... I'm at a loss for words kind of for this album. I did this video a week ago and I had plenty to say, but I just, just gotta listen to it if you're, if you're into, into this. It's great. Wish I, my camera was high quality enough to do a needle dropper, I would. We've got some ambient Eno and Bowie in the back that works. This is the last bar. So we're gonna wrap it up. This is, this is pretty, this is pretty indie. This is Dumbs Will Survive. This is Dull Knife Records out of Houston, Texas. I think this is like a pressing of 300 or something. These guys are, this particular band was very, very, um, not too well known. I don't think they ever repressed it. Um, Andrew Graham, the principal songwriter. I like this booklet. It's like fake newspaper. I should do that crossword puzzle. No, there's no clues. Can't do it. Lyrics on the inside. Um, the principal songwriter, Andy Graham, who also would be known as Larry Glory. Uh, he released the music as Larry Glory. But um, he went on to release an album on Mexican Summer, Andrew, Andrew Graham and something. Uh, and I haven't heard it. I just realized it came out as I was looking up some information on Dumbs Will Survive. RTFO Bandwagon. I don't even know if I said the name of this. <laughs> this is Dumbs Will Survive, RTFO band Bandwagon. And I think this is from 2007, 2008. But uh, yeah, there's an album he came out with like last year after RTFO Bandwagon got signed to Mexican Summer and he was like, sorry, we broke up again. And they didn't release anything else. It's just really ramshackle, lo-fi, garage, tweet pop. You know, there's some buzzwords for you. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I think they've got a band camp. I bought this off their band camp. It's just a great record. It's a shame it only was pressed to 300, but, you know, probably had no reason to press more. There might even still be some available. Who knows? Anyway, I think that's going to be it for me. Uh, thanks, I guess, you know, is the main point of this video, even though it's an indie vinyl update. Thank you for watching. Please comment, send me messages, say hello. You know, I'm, I'd love to hear from you. Y'all take it easy.